Hello, everyone. Welcome to Find Your Fire Friday. Today is a very, very special day, and I'll tell you why very shortly. But for those of you who are watching uh, the replay and perhaps don't know who I am, my name is Wendy Yorching. I am the founder of Healing Spaces Caribbean, and I'm also the tribe mom of the wonderful Find Your Fire tribe. And every Monday and Friday, we have a live event, and today's Friday event is all about arting with Randall. So I have with me here artist Randall Weeb. Is that how you say it, Randall? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he is here to share with us a little bit about Randall and his journey to using art, his art for healing. And then he has an extra special treat, but we'll get to that. So Randall, please share with the group. Tell us how you got to be doing arting with Randall. And well, arting with Randall, that, that is a fairly recent uh, thing. I, I've been drawing and painting since I was a little kid. And, uh, and then I continued to pursue that. I thought that was going to be my career. And so I went to, took it in school. I went to art college, studied at university. And then I got a total phobia about making art. And so I continued on, but I went more the direction of graphic design, more practical, making a living at, at it and teaching it. But I found myself doing less and less of actually doing it myself because I just had too much fear. And then in a lot, uh, since the pandemic, really, uh, well, the real story is my mother. Uh, at the age of 82, she picked up a brush and she started painting. And I didn't know anything about this. She showed an interest in art before that. And, uh, and so I was like shocked and surprised and I helped her along. And then at the, that when the pandemic hit, I couldn't see her very much. I'd done a little coaching with her. So I started teaching her online and grabbed a bunch of other people, a few friends. And then I was just doing it for free for a couple of years or a year and a half. Uh, no, a year. And then, um, I found that these people were far brave, braver than I was. I, I was coaching them, but but they were coaching me in the fact of just being brave and just doing it. And uh, my, my mother passed away this last winter. And uh, and yes, she was super brave because by the end, I, I she just wanted to paint landscapes and she was naturally talented. But in the end, I taught her to uh, to draw people and she never even showed any desire for that. But she was so tenacious. Her first drawing of a person, of people look like monkeys. And she decided to draw her two, two of her granddaughters. And, then, and the first drawing was a disaster, but she came back week by week by week. And I was like, okay, that's much improved. I, I showed her how to fix it. And she, and she go, yeah, but what else? And every week she'd work on it and work on it. And I went, wow, what ten tenacity, what courage. I would have been discouraged. And she kept at it, I think, through about seven sessions. And it ended up with this absolutely beautiful drawing of her two granddaughters. Can I grab it? So as I said, in the first image, they they looked like, like monkeys. And then she ended up drawing this. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. So, as I say, uh, the amount of courage. And in the process, I also realized the amount of, of healing that was going on, of people finding, you know, uh, a new form of expression, of outlet. And, uh, and I'd kind of been aware of this, but I started to research it more and see all the benefits of being visually creative that include uh, cognition, being clear in your mind, better memory for older people, uh, a feeling of control of some kind of agency in your life, uh, reduces stress, reduces uh, um, anxiety and fear, it increases your serotonin, and it makes you happier. And then in community, it builds great community. It's great for your spirit. It's a connection with something beyond the pragmatic, the practical every day. And so on just about every level, it's a, it's a healing and a growing process. And you saw and this in real time, in real terms with your mom. Yeah, yeah. I actually probably have the beginning drawings, but I won't show them to you. <laughs> That's another story entirely. 
Um, and so I decided to go more into this. And the, si the other side of it is for the last 30 years, I've been teaching and developing a process where I can teach anyone to draw realistically in an extremely short period of time. And I was just usually about just using that to get people, just to train people. And now I understand that it's a great way for people to very quickly, uh, again, uh, get over any kind of blockages or fear because everybody has fear about this because we all end up, we're all drawing creatures. We all started that way. We all, as soon as we found something that made a mark and a surface that could be marked, mm -hmm. that was lipstick or a permanent marker or a fridge or wall, a cupboard, uh, whatever. We what, made wall marks. of a cave? What's that? Wall of a cave. Wall of a cave, yeah. Yep. They were, yeah. they were drawing. We were, we were all drawing creatures and we all typically uh, lose that. The majority of people lose it at about the age of nine or 10. And why, why do they lose it? It's when their brain changes and start to recognize that what they're drawing doesn't look like what they're looking at. And that's the discouragement. And the criticism can come from within. It can come from without. It can be things like, oh, your sibling is the artist in the family. Oh, you're, you're no good at this. Oh, that's a beautiful horse you drew. It's supposed to be an elephant. Um, you know, it can be, it, even compliments can discourage us. Everything can stop us. And um, so then I realized, hey, I can get people over those things in a practical way by teaching them how to actually draw what they see in super, like in, in two and a half hours, we have huge results from people. And then um, also on Mondays, I get together with a group and we just do meditative drawing and we just, we play, we play and we increase our joy and we do it in community and we don't want to leave. And then we share afterwards and we celebrate and it's so much fun. There's so much joy and fun in the room. I have to so, interrupt. Guys, I have actually, up, um, visited some of uh, Randall's sessions. He tried. He tried to help me sketch my my hand. And one of his quick, you know, you can learn to draw sessions. It did not look like my hand, but I felt the chains in my brain loosen up because he had us drawing our hands without looking at our hands, and I felt the chains that bind me loosen up. What came out was not a hand, but I'm sure if I can, had stayed with Randall, <laughs> it would have it would have become a hand with more practice. You, and you I, did you did the first five minute exercise right i think that's it i, think I right? did too i did too yeah so, that, so you have that's, to that's, two and that's a total of about 12 minutes and i'm saying in two and a half hours you would have drawn a hand that looked like a beautiful hand every i believe does. i believe because i saw some of your results your, your people's results and then i've also sat in on a couple of the ones where they did the meditative painting and i have to tell you that that is something to be that's something to to really experience for yourself because um, Randall, the, the, just what comes out of that from what I see on your group is, is um, it's not only it's not only beautiful, it's liberating. That's what I, I would say. And not just from you, because your stuff is always, of course, you know, the best in the in the press in the in the in what it comes is out. not. It well, is not the best. There's me, no way. To me, to me, it looks the best. But <laughs> no, what, no, 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 no. But your people, oh, seems I would to... not <laughs> in any way say that. Everyone contributes, and what I love is not that there's any best in the group. That there's so much variety. That I give a basic prompt, and I say, "Hey, today's theme is waves or wind, wind or yes. uh, butterflies or whatever." And I talk about structure or or pattern or whatever. And I just give a prompt, and away people go. Really beautiful. And they come up with yes. So many different things. They work with whatever materials they want to, and everyone creates something that just kind of blows me away. That's now, I thing. personally haven't done that session. I've popped in and out of those sessions, but I've seen the results on his group. And it is really, as I said, liberating to see what people come up with from that prompt and the, and the, and the, the openness that, that they show in their artwork. Perhaps they don't show that same openness in their lives or in their conversation, but it really is quite beautiful to watch. I can see therapy in there, Randall. And, and, and changing your life and the way you engage life in there from that kind of process. So yeah, highly, highly um, special. Randall, you know, Christine did ask where you, where, where are you? And I don't think I remember to ask that question. So go ahead, tell them a little bit more about well, that. Usually by now the fireplace would be on, but today is an exceptionally warm day comparatively. It's only like minus five degrees Celsius out. So uh, I'm in Alberta, Canada in a tiny little hamlet of 100 people called Rosebud. And it's a very artsy place. It's got a, 
theater and a theater college and uh, a few artists and um, and we're in the middle of of farming country the prairies right next to the badlands christine would love it she loves cold cold <laughs> <laughs> let's switch right now can we teleport right now I, uh, <laughs> no. No. I don't like it if it's too hot but I, then again I could stand a bit of hot right now <laughs> up in Canada and the east coast is going to get some real snow and stuff and so they can they would love to be where we are now Randall so that's what, why my desk is right beside my fireplace so I can stay nice and warm Randall do you do um both painting and drawing the same amount what do you find that you enjoy doing the most painting sketching what's your heart well, I don't know if I, I totally covered it in that I still have fear and and anxiety over making art. I have my own phobias. And so I'm constantly doing um, dealing with it. And so one of the ways I deal with it is I do stuff live. Uh, just did this this portrait of this Orthodox priest and he was on Zoom and it's the first time I've ever done that and about two hours and he painted that live. And he's gonna make me a painting because he's an iconographer and he's going to make me an icon and we're going to trade him. And this, is, uh, this is how you get over your fear is by doing stuff live? Is by doing it live. <laughs> you mean, your fear and jumping in and, 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 and do it just doing it? By, by, yes, because often it's the anxiety is it's all about um, it's all about judgment, overly judgmental. So the Monday night group, I walk in there and I'm fearful every night that there's going to be a little judgment. I judge myself. I want, I expect too much. And by the end, I'm just saying, I'm just playing just like everybody else. I'm, I'm, the, the, I'm not the leader by trying to be the best. I'm the leader by facing my fear and just going ahead and doing it. And by the end, I'm loving it. And nobody wants to leave, including me. And I go from this tension literally at the beginning of the evening. I always do. I, whenever I, I teach, I teach at college, I teach online. I'm always tense when I start, and by the end, I'm so relaxed, I'm so comfortable, and I think the having this audience too, it keeps me accountable because I can let my fear rule me. If I, but if I say, "Hey, I'm going to be painting this Friday for two hours, watch me," and I don't show up, <laughs> that I can't deal with. I can't live with myself if I do that. So I make myself accountable. Randall, can I say something? Um, yeah. When you start, it's like, it's how I identify with it. It's like when I'm going to do, I'm a dancer and I haven't danced for two years, but I used to do competition. And there's always this adrenaline rush and this fear and my tummy tied up for the four hours before the competition starts. And then the music starts and I go out on the stage and I absolutely just feel here I am. And I dance my, with, my, with my heart and soul. And I actually don't care if I win or I lose. It doesn't matter. It's about dancing with my heart and soul. So... My that. suspicion is, is if, they were not, if, they were, if we're not feeling any kind of fear or tension or anything about what we're about to do, what we're about to do isn't going to grow us. It's not going to challenge us. It's maybe we should be doing something else. It's not going to be our icky guy. It's not going to give us wings. That's yeah. right. Okay. Right. So Randall, then since you love embracing and facing your fears and by doing live things on camera, I know that Randall is, is offered to give a quick paint of one of the people in our group and I have decided since Randall told me to choose to volunteer Christine Francois to be Randall's model today. Christine are you willing to play with us? I'm game for anything. Randall okay. can you deal can you deal with the fuzzy image that you have you're seeing of Christine from her it's camera? Gonna be, it's going to be a fuzzy painting that's all I can say. And it, we don't have two hours Christine so he's only going to do what he can do in the time we have. Okay, are you guys game to chair Christine and Randall on while they do this? Okay, and this is going to be very quick. Um, so, uh, yes, this is only the second time I've painted somebody over Zoom, and it's the second time a portrait live. And that time you had two hours. Randall, would you like uh, me to and, highlight Christine or spotlight Christine? Because I'll go ahead and do I've that. I've got her. I've got her right here. You can see. Oh, also, I don't know. Uh, right, and I've only got 15 minutes or so so first time trying to do that oh boy okay, so, exciting um, and scary whoa if you um, like that view or this view whichever works for you that's a little low just that a little bit okay so we can give you different views uh start off with this one 
So the key thing is don't move a lot once you've decided what your pose is. Um, I may have to stop and dish up some paint or clean some brushes at points. Um, Kat, um, Randall, we got a comment from Kathleen. She says, no pressure, right, Randall? Oh, not at all. <laughs> this is... Christine, have an ask, having asked, volunteered, are you okay with this? <laughs> I'm, Listen, I'm, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, <laughs> me, I might as well be sleep. I'm so relaxed, I might as well be sleeping. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, contemplate what we're doing here a little bit. Okay, and he did say that we could chat during the session um, and we could actually ask him stuff, but not too many complicated things. So feel free, guys, to keep the, the energy flowing if you want to chat. All right. Randall, if we become too hard on you, just tell us. Well, that actually would be nice if there's some distraction going on. That would be okay. Cool. Okay. Say something, folks. Christine, chat away. Okay. So I have to tell you that the Asian chili chicken was to die for. Well, I'm sure it was. I saw it being created. And it looked pretty yummy. Mm, yes. And I hope you're going to follow the recipe and make sure to provide it in Tobago. Poor Terry. <laughs> Terry, I think by now you have now got what? Four recipes to execute. <laughs> Terry's not taking any ownership of these recipes. Not at all. I think I'll have to just pop on over to, um, to Tobago and come and pick up a storm for you and Terry yeah, and then leave that, again. Yes, that's definitely what needs to happen. Definitely. <laughs> needs to happen. <laughs> I'm so sorry I missed the session. I'm still recuperating pretty good. So I was taking a nap. Don't worry, Terry. It's on video. You'll get it. Did you see the final picture? I posted it in the group. Not yet. No, no. Not yet. Garlene Gali, and Margaret, do you have any comments or thoughts about, um, about Randall and his journey and how he uses his art or even about his group? Because, hey. Well, I definitely want to um, take part in the, it's, a, it's a, like a free drawing session type thing. Is that... That's what it's, it is. You just, you give a topic and you just draw. Is that what it is? Uh, yes, for the, 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 the Monday evening groups, that's exactly what it is. Uh, it's, oh. a, it's free to join. You just have to be in my Facebook group. Okay. And everybody in the group is invited. And typically we have about, about nine or 10 people show up. Some, pe some people come and bring their kids, a few, a few moms bring their daughters yeah uh, otherwise it's uh yeah and uh, there's people that that are there all the time and then there's other people that just come and go you know as they they try it out i'm a come, yes. i'm a come and go person but i've really been wowed by what i saw and it's more the framework that randall provides for them and the guidance he gives them very loose and easy guidance and encourages everybody to to let your inside out on on in the um in the given topic and, and then they play classical music or whatever, and everybody paints away or sketches away. Oh, very lovely. Yeah. And um, I think also, Randall, I, from what I picked up is that when people bring their kids, it's a way of having quality bonding activity. Of course. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, and I should have mentioned that, that uh, pretty much all the sessions are also, uh, the replays are all on YouTube now. Uh, we didn't do replays for the first while, for the first couple of months now we do uh, so i mean the replays are mostly music playing and people drawing silently but the fun part is you get the instruction at the beginning and then there's also um uh the sharing at the end with the two, yes. two really fun parts and, and and garlene again the um the group that his facebook group is called arting with randall which is at the um showing on our screen so that it's easy enough to find and um you know when you when you join since probably he would have you know lots of people joining at any one time say that you came from this session let them know that you came from here i actually think that i joined because you would have told us about this some time ago maybe when i would have done the vision um board workshop yes so yeah i just never i've never been to one of the sessions but i definitely want to try but still identify yeah. yourself as one of my peeps yeah because um 
it's good to know in, in, um, randall would be glad to know that you came from from the tribe as well yeah sure okay. how about There's you a, sorry about I have a question people. yeah kathleen randall, how long do the sessions go for those ones are about an hour and a half i try to okay. keep everything about an hour and a half it's about the the optimal time uh for people to concentrate and to to get something good done now if, you have to do a lot of if you if there's something where you need a lot of setting up then sometimes we take a bit longer for something but like if there's a painting class and people although i encourage people to try and set up beforehand now a little thing here for people like you and me and garlene it's um western time or pacific time is it randall it's so mountain mountain time mountain time so there's a little difference in the time and that's one reason i pop in and out because randall tends to start around my bedtime so um in in, in trinidad zone you so, got you got a bed too early that's ah, well i get up early randall <laughs> 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 i work with the sun randall <laughs> so so no. so that's the thing it's it's um you have to be a christian where the night night owl is your space to to um yeah yeah, mm -mm. yeah. Okay, not thank you. Not if you're working with your circadian rhythms now, which I have kind of switched over to. <laughs> the rest, hey? She's been told that she needs to get to sleep by 11 before Christine was doing her best work at 11 p.m. <laughs> I, I, kind of, I kind of switched the same way. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a morning owl. So my, well, I am like the wee hours of the morning. One, two, three, four o'clock. I'm at my peak. So... I, I need to readjust to my life every time because of work, because I can't be up those times to, to get to work on time. But well, those are my supposed, best hours. You're supposed to be living in England or something or Europe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I was a night owl and I'm way more by the sun now. I know it can change. It also changes as you age and I'm getting old. But uh, yeah, I, I live much more by the sun now. Uh, if anyone's interested, by the way, I'm only using um, Six colors of paint total. And, and what kind of paint are you using, Randall? Is it is it what color, kinds of paint? Watercolor. Acrylic. Mm. And this is my special palette. It's magenta, cyan, primary yellow, halo blue, um, burnt umber, and white. Okay. And you normally um, you can use all the different types of paint, or you favor acrylic. I've worked with this painting behind me. I don't know if you can see that painting, the landscape. That's um, that's oil. Okay, so you can do anything. Yeah, I'm working watercolor. Do a bit of watercolor sometimes. And um, so, Kathleen, yeah. are you looking? Are you thinking? Have you done art? Or are you thinking of starting? I'm an art admirer. Well, I know I you appreciate art, art. Yeah. and one of the things I did pre-pandemic um, to relax would be to go to an art gallery at an exhibition and have a glass of wine and just immerse myself in all that beautiful art. Well, I know, Chris, um, Kathleen, that you're also very involved with um, Sarah Beckett's, one of our, our famous artists in Trinidad, Randall, and mm -hmm. Sarah Beckett's training workshops and exhibitions. Yes. Okay. So I figured that art was a, um, very important to you. Oh, yes, it is very important to me. Margaret, uh, Margaret is saying, I'm always amazed at the process, how it reveals itself beautifully. Margaret, are you an artist at heart as well? You can chat, Margaret, you can talk. Don't have to Not type. Not really. I, I've dabbled with uh, trying to find out where my creative um, talent lines. The only thing is, can you shift a little bit so we see you? <laughs> you <see my> shoulder. <laughs> yes. I've always dabbled with trying to find out where my creative talent lies, but I've never really explored anything to any great extent. Um, I've started with sketching, just, you know, um, pencil sketching and such. So that's about my limit. Oh, no, no, don't say limit. You've met Randall now. No limit. <laughs> <laughs> and I know we have Terry, who is an artist. She's actually published Randall. Um, she oh. has this stuff in an exhibition going on right now. Terry, you want to say something? I just want to say that it's a pleasure to be here and look at someone else's 
camera, uh, camera, uh, camera, Terry, oh, camera, oh. camera. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. But um, what's that? I said. It's all chopping up. Can't hear. The internet broke up there. Sorry, we didn't hear you. Wendy? Yes. Me now? Um, try again. Tell us what you just said. This is not that kind of art. I said, um, this is not that kind of art class. That's why my camera is off. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now our imaginations run. Terry? Um, but you, would you share with the group what's ha what about your painting and the exhibition that's going on now? Because it's a very interesting. Um, yes, um, the exhibition that's going on now is called "It's Being Put On" by an NGO called Chosen Hands. Uh, uh, the NGO works with. Um, the girls of the St. Jude's home, the St. Jude's home, for those of you who don't live in Trinidad and Tobago, is a home for um, young girls that are going through challenges in life. So there's lots of abuse and trauma in the home and that kind of thing. And they would have been removed by the legal system and placed in the home. So this NGO, Chosen Hands, which was started by an artist friend of mine, Anika Plowden Parenton. She, um, she came up with the idea of introducing art therapy into the home for the girls. And it just kind of grew. And she always had a vision of having an exhibition where what she does is she invites people like myself and others to come in as mentors who would come in and, and speak with the girls on a topic and then do some art with them. So the concept of the exhibition um, is the shout and the echo. So the, the shout would be a piece of art that's created by the mentor. And um, it's not just painting or also people who do photography who come in as mentors for the girls. And then the echo would be the girls doing a piece of their own that would have been inspired by the mentor. So that's currently happening at the... Um, Rita Art Gallery at the Trinidad and Tobago Parliament, and the exhibition is closing on Saturday. And so Terry, it's Terry, been a really um, yes. Sorry, just tell them about your involvement yes. with them from before. Well, I oh. I was one of the the mentors that went in to speak with the girls, and they did uh, a piece a drawing they uh, were using it to color. So that drawing actually, um, I was asked to recreate it on a canvas and then I gave it back to the girl, they painted it. And that is what is featured in the exhibition along with a painting that I've done, but it's actually mixed media. It's um, acrylic paints and, and paper on canvas board. And my painting is entitled, and then I'm, I'm sorry, anonymity. It's basically a female face without features and um, long hair. And it's, it's supposed to be a commentary. All of us females who've gone trauma and abuse and the fact that we probably would like to remain anonymous because of it. You don't want people to see the shame and the pain and the guilt. And so you rather remain faceless and nameless in the crowd. But um, there are lots of little, I put lots of little um, like flowers and there's a butterfly in the, <clears throat> in the images here that signifies transformation, the transformation that, that can happen for um, anyone who's experienced trauma in their life. If they, you know, go through any kind of therapy, be it art, psychotherapy, you name it. Meditative painting is a great one. I look forward to, to trying that out with Randall as soon as I can. So yes, so that's been my involvement. I would like to ask- Thank you, Wendy. Terry, I'd like to invite you to share in the tribe your link to your exhibition and also your painting if you're willing. Because it's a beautiful painting, guys. The story behind it is so oh, deep. Oh, no problem. I can do that. It's stunning. 
and and um it all just ties together with healing through art and mm. healing through painting which is what today is about so um please share it in the tribe yeah. terry, terry we're gonna have um when i yeah. post the i'm gonna post the recording yeah, okay. the recorded video wait and don't use it to put it on the live put it in the recording yeah. which is the one we'll keep in the chat okay um you okay. guys it's worthy okay. especially those on you in trinidad is worthy checking out that exhibition and just because of the, the, the genesis of it, the, 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 what's behind it. All right, so um, um, go ahead. For those, for those of you, oh, Wendy, before you, for those of you who are on Facebook, you can go to the Rotunda um, Art Gallery page on Facebook. And since the exhibition started, it started at the, um, the beginning of January. They've featured every day, they've featured two or three of the mentors and the, the work done by the girls. So you can just check out the Rotunda Art Gallery's Facebook page. Okay, so Terry, but still put the link and they, will, uh, they will have um, something at hand. I will. Okay, sh thank you so much. Okay, I will. Sharmila has just joined us. Welcome Sharmila, welcome Sharmila. I'm so glad you're here. We have, we are just about five minutes to go before we wrap up, but we're glad to welcome you. And you get to see the- Hi Sharmila, how are you? <laughs> I good. Sorry, mm -hmm. I missed out on the presentation, Mr. Randall. But um, all good. I, oh all wow, good. you're painting. Uh, you're painting, Christine. Yeah. You're looking like Christine. <laughs> wow. Randall, this is how our people are. We're very, very emotional and, and, and enthusiastic. Um, I like actually, it. I like it. Yeah. Shamila, wow. you can find that you, the replay will be available to you, honey. So you feel free to catch up. But um, yes, I agree. Been chatting it's through this right. thing, we've been keeping him company by chatting about all kinds of stuff. And you'll recognize Hi, people on yeah. this table from from. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Yeah. So, so Randall, we 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 um, how are you doing in terms of um, Christine? Well, you know what? I just keep going until somebody tells me to stop because okay. I mean, let's get, there's, get, there's get, really get, never an get, end. Get to where so, there's no beginning and end. Get to where you can stop, and then we will we will. Oh, I can stop any point, but, I, but I gotta, we don't want half a Christine. We want a whole Christine's face. <laughs> I, 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 there's a couple things I'd like to do still. Go ahead. How about how about a few more minutes, and then we will con um, more yeah. warm it up. So, ladies, well, Randall, they were asking Randall if your face, your YouTube channel is acting with Randall as well. Every every social media, Instagram, uh, YouTube, it's all arting with Randall. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Twitter. So it's hard. I'm, to, on, hard I'm, to I'm mostly Randall. on YouTube and, and Facebook, and uh, and anybody that that asks gets into my Facebook group. It's not like it, but it's private, just simply so that we can. Randall, believe me, you're going to get quite a few people from this this um this event coming to find you from the tribe. And may I ask, what do you do? What will you be doing with Christine's image afterwards? Would you be willing to share it on the tribe as well? Uh, sure, yeah, we can. can you do that? Christine, would you be okay with that? Christine, since it's your face we're talking about? Can't hear you. She's not talking. No, she's actually. I said, of course, of oh, course. Oh, oh, Randall, if you're willing to share the picture on the tribe under the published video, then I'll be honored and Christine will be honored to be showcased. Cool. <laughs> Just, I've got a couple of corrections here to make at the end. Okay. Structural things. And things Camilla says, what's the cost? She wants to buy. Hold on. Randall, how much are you going to sell Christine's picture to Shamila for? Oh. It's like two or three million, I think. Okay, Chris, um, Sharmila, no problem, right? Cash, Randall? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that size, right? That is what, watercolor or acrylic? Um, three million, um, that's kind of high. I know how much art goes for. Okay. But uh, um, if you, when you finish, you could let me know the actual price um, yeah, sure. for one of those that will be better. I think I'm only kidding. I get it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm on a award wedding photographer. I, I never think about price while I'm painting. Uh, they're probably, I think I have a set price for something, but this size is typically around $250. Oh, cool. good. Yeah. Okay. Mine. <laughs> It's, it's unless christine wants to get it first you just but, you know, know. <laughs> of course um 
the pr- and then there's shipping, you know, and whatever. Else. Yeah, yeah, all of that. Shamila, um, why don't you ask Randall to do one of you for you as well? Oh no, I don't. I don't need that right now. I want one he can do of you, Wendy. Yeah. Uh-oh. Do a Wendy, yes. What did, I, what did I just get myself into? Oh, Wendy <laughs> needs to get a portrait done. Boom. Well, initially, yeah, initially when he was, we were talking about briefing this event, I said, you know, you can just paint me. And he started, you could see his eyes change because then he, all of a sudden he looked at me differently because he starts thinking how he's going to do that hair, right? And then I thought, no, I know exactly the right person. <laughs> And I just, I'm afraid I sprang it on Christine Jamila. I didn't tell her in advance. So she found out this today when we started. Right. Right. <laughs> now, um, I will review the whole video and then uh, I'll ask him about commissions afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about it. Let's let him stay creative and not um, the other stuff. Yeah. But it's lovely that you, um, Randall, it's lovely that you come and do it on my group. And already you have everybody signing up to come to your classes and somebody mm-hmm. ordering a commission. Oh, my goodness. Last and- year, la- sorry, last year for the art exhibitions in the art galleries, I purchased a lot of my friends' art. Um, so as we're doing this, I want to purchase this art as well. So yeah. when eventually when I have my exhibitions, I want people to buy one, buy not. <laughs> well, so, well, yeah. Shamila, you, I think you missed when Terry was speaking, but Terry is talking about her art that's currently being shown in Trinidad. Uh, she has yeah, a, the chosen hands. Yes, yes. you're familiar with that. Yeah, I saw that. And you yes. saw Terry's work? You saw her? her, her yes, her. I saw that through Anika. Um, it? Ani- Ani- it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. That one is definitely, every, every woman should have that in her house, I think, Terry. Yeah. Because we all, uh, yeah. we all understand that woman. Yeah. Agreed, agreed. Yeah. Um, the Rotunda Art Gallery at the Red House has monthly exhibitions. So um, the Chosen Hands, I didn't get to go in, but I think there's a, a video of the sh- exhibition online. So Terry I could- is saying that you can access it through the Rotunda Facebook group, Terry, as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They on the Instagram, their coverage oh, of yeah. everyone's food. Yeah. Someone called me. Yeah, we, yeah. Um, Shamila. Rotunda posted. Rotunda posted the uh, exhibition daily, right? Yeah. Already. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I could just go through that as well. But Correct. I think um. Correct. Yeah. And I They've think been Anika. And I think Anika also um did a video yeah. of the exhibition too. Yes, she shares a lot of stuff as well. So yes, if you go on her personal page, once you're friends with her, yes, you can see everything. And then right. some. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's lots of, um, lots of, of high profile people visiting people from the various embassies because some of the girls that come through Chosen Hands are uh, Latin American girls who've unfortunately been trafficked. Um, so they are Venezuelan girls, and so so you had a lot of the Latin American embassies, they the, and high commissions. They sent representatives. Yeah. To, so yeah. let me give you a little history, Wendy, about the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago. Right, it's the only nonprofit art institution in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh-huh. Um, Randall also. Mm-hmm. Um, so the membership there is two hundred dollars, TT, um, a year. Woman in art is a female-run institution. Um, there's no physical location. Um, any female, um, young or old, can sign up and be part of the organization. Um, there are different galleries that have submissions. The artists can supply work. Um, Arnims does framing, and they have two galleries, one's, one in Port of Spain and one in South. Um, and they also have, I also did a bunch of mentoring sessions with Fitzroy Hoyt. He has Think Artwork Studio on Cipriani Boulevard. So um, he accepts um, commissions there for $75 and the, he will host it in his studio for three months for that price. <coughs> now, um, just so you know, uh, we have had quite a, I, I was just checking my comments and we've had quite a few people watching the live on Facebook, the live stream as well. And um, uh, Randall, I'm going to just say, somebody said, can you show us the beginning drawings? I don't think you can because it's all painted now. 
Um, so th that's not possible. The, the beginning drawings of this? Of Christine. <laughs> there, were, there were no beginning drawings. Right, but if they watch the replay, they'll see the progress. They'll see the, pro the process. There's no drawings. And, and uh, I, I, just started, I just started splashing uh, paint on the canvas. <laughs> yeah. So that's all. All right. But we, it's good that we had um, quite a quite a um, good bunch of people looking on, on the stream as well. That's wonderful. All yeah. right. So, so um, Sorry, it's been a lot longer than I thought. They haven't stopped me yet. I just keep going. We're going to we're going to stop you now, Randall. I just okay. want you to be happy with Christine's face. Shamila, is it something that you would consider maybe having the art women in art connect with Randall, or because he's a guy, that's not a good plan? No, um, you could talk to Michelle Tappen Davis. You know, she's the president of the organization, and her partner is Nalini Akal, and you could talk to both of them because Nalini is doing film and um videography part of it. Um, Michelle does a different department, and um, okay. Joy Lockpart also does another department. Okay, well, we talk have... about it further. I just thought I just threw it out as an idea because I love making yeah, but... connections and. Yes. Randall, do you want to get that holiday down here in the sunshine? Maybe that's an opening. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So yeah. are you able oh, to- are you I able mean, to... the reality is the majority of people I work with are women. Okay. There's no doubt about it. Okay, good, good. Uh, by far. Yeah. I, I, like in my class of 12 right now, I have one man. Yes, it's and about I, the right, I, it's about the, the average that I'm used to as well. Yeah. Yes. Randall, so, are you ready to present Christine to the world? Oh, I don't know. Let's see here if I got- I'm going uh, to pinch. I'm going to make you big. Oh, I just, I just realized that my, uh, my name's right over top of the painting here. That's not good. Uh, I'm going to move this out of the way. Move this over. So you can actually see it. There we go. So there she is. Okay. I and I love it. There, right. So how long did that take? That was um, thirty minutes. 30 minutes. Sorry, I went way over. We didn't feel uh, it because the conversation was so well, good. Because one of the things that I typically do, and I haven't mentioned this at all, is I go to, or I used to go to live events, uh, fundraisers, festivals, things like that. They'll pick somebody out of the audience at random or do a raffle. I'll grab a three by four foot canvas, so something way bigger. And then they put a timer on for 15 minutes, and I've got 15 minutes to paint their portrait. Don't so, I, with this, I get a little smaller, a little pick, pickier with that. I just splash and go like crazy. Well, Thank you, Christine, for mo modeling. You were brilliant. And I do know that that pose for your hand was not easy at all. <laughs> and uh, and my apologies if there's, I mean, it's not, I know it's not, you know, a perfect likeness. And that isn't even what I aim for, really. It's just to, to capture something about you and to play with the colors and things like that. Uh, Randall, we have we have actually a comment. One says that's great, and somebody else said amazingly to Christine. Congratulations, Randall. I'm impressed. So that's all you need to say. All right. Uh, oops, this is behind me. Got to figure out. Uh, this camera has a bit better color. Yes. No. So okay. everybody, I would like to say, wow. <laughs> That was acrylic. That was acrylic, Randall. Hmm? That acrylic. was acrylic. Yes, it oh, was. Okay. Yeah. Uh, really I, work good in, job. I work in oils. I can do the same thing in oils. Just, you do watercolors? Uh, I do a little bit. I can adapt. And as you saw, some of this, I'm using some watercolor styling in here. Right. Uh, sometimes I use my acrylics really thinly, like watercolor. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll show you one more painting that is actually done. Do you have any, yeah, do you have any landscape? Or will you have other stuff? I forget, hear me. I will go on your, your socials. I mean, you go follow him, okay? And so when yeah. he comes back, what we'll do, because we, we would like to actually um, release Randall. So, is that beautiful? Wow, that. wow, that looks like a photograph from far. So Ooh, I that. that is, you know, acrylic, but there's no white paint in this at all. So it was- How much is, know. how much is that one? <laughs> this one? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know that I'll ever sell this one. This I've had this my whole life. It's like my favorite painting, and uh, oh, yeah, if I were ever sell it, it would be at least two twenty five hundred dollars. Okay, Randall, this oh. beautiful. Shamila, I think you have to follow up this connection that you just made. Okay, Randall, this is going to yeah. be one of the best sessions you ever had because look at what <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. 
Stay, uh, with, stay with us and tell the group uh, uh, anything else you want to know about, they want to know about what you're offering right now in terms okay. of courses well, and it, As I say, you guys have been extremely generous and very kind, and uh, it's nice to make connection with you. I'm a little scattered as always uh, when I'm painting, I'm totally focused and I kind of lose track of what's going down. Uh, I'm going to be uh, offering a new free drawing workshop. It's over two days, uh, hour and a half each day. And I'm trying to schedule at least one that's going to be in your time frame, and it'll be coming up in about two weeks. I'll be announcing it in my group and on my Facebook page and various other places. Uh, it's free. And then uh, after that, if you want to continue working with me, then I'll be starting my next round uh, of drawing classes. And then the drawing classes will lead into uh, my first set of Ever, ever online painting classes. So I'm just, it's a new thing I'm going to be trying. Uh, and I'm going to be trying to apply some of the same things I do in drawing, that is trying to get people producing something of quality extremely quickly. And Randall, and, uh, what about your meditative um, groups? Because I know there'll be interest in that. When are those? Just join Facebook and they're, they're Monday nights and they're not in your time frame. They're Monday nights and they're seven o'clock mountain time. So that's, um, kind I of think, tough. 10 o'clock for you, and we go about an hour and a half. Uh, but as I say, you don't get in on the sharing, but they're all on my YouTube as well, the replays. The tech isn't always the best. I'm still trying to figure out the tech. I'm still trying to improve it. Like I say, I've got three or four screens here. I've got four cameras. Randall, you're amazing on the tech. you got to see it's all relative, honey. Now oh, but then sometimes in the video, they've got this echo sound and all sorts of nasty things going on. So I'm trying to fix that. Are you, are you are those also free or are those chargeable which ones the meditative mondays oh that's absolutely all, always will be free as long as i keep doing it yeah it's interesting because a friend of mine is doing something very similar someone i uh, an old friend and i saw recently she's doing something very similar and she charges 25 dollars per, per, per session per person so well this I is my I gift this is your gift, and I think you're going to find some people taking you up your, on your gift. Anybody have any questions for Randall before we say goodbye to him? Well, you know how to find him. Everybody knows exactly where to find him. It, oh, thank you, Randall. Hudson. I love it. It's right there. Yep. I love it. Randall. Okay. Randall, thank you. I think this was a wonderful experience for all of us. You guys agree? If you agree, say something. Yahoo! Absolutely. I love it, Randall. Love it. Love it. And I'm sure you're going to find some of these Trinidadian type people turning up in your in your ses various sessions. And Shamila's going to buy everything you have. I'm just <laughs> looking forward to an invite to come there in um, the winter. Yes, I think I think perhaps um, Shamila, we connect him with um, the art people. OK, so Randall, many blessings. You guys, thank you for coming on the Zoom session. And for those of you watching on Facebook, Thank you too. And those who catch the replay, please leave your comments for us and follow Randall. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Thank you.